Hello all, welcome back. In the previous video, we discussed about infix to prefix conversion and in this video, I come up with a new example. So we'll solve this example and we'll try to understand the infix to prefix conversion in better way. This is the infix expression we have. What is the first rule of uh, converting infix to prefix expression is the first rule is to reverse the given infix expression. So if you reverse this expression, what will be our resultant expression? So close parenthesis g, then exponential, again close parenthesis f minus e, then open parenthesis multiplication d plus c, division b plus a and then again open parenthesis so this is what the expression we will get after doing reverse okay now with this expression we are going to perform conversion so the next step is to scan the characters from left to right one by one what is the first character we have here close parenthesis if it is close parenthesis just push it into the stack directly because here in prefix conversion this is considered as the open parenthesis okay and the next character we have here is g which is an operand operand means then you just add it to the prefix expression and what is the next character we have that is exponential so if the operator is present in the character like a scanned one then directly push it into the stack and that to exponential has the higher precedence so directly you are pushing it into the stack what is the next to, uh, character we have here again a close parenthesis so you can see again we have a close parenthesis okay so i'm inserting like i'm pushing that close parenthesis into the stack again okay and then what is the next character we have that is f so f is an operand then you, you need to add f to the prefix expression okay and what is the next character we have after f that is minus minus is the operator again so when it is operator push it into the stack before that check for the top of the stack to check the precedence here the top of the stack is like a close parenthesis if it is parenthesis don't check check for any condition you can push it into the stack okay so i pushed minus into the stack since my top of the stack is close parenthesis earlier okay now after minus what is the character it is e e is an operand again so adding it to the prefix expression right and what is the next character next character is open parenthesis so now you got open parenthesis first push it into the stack now what is the rule if we find open parenthesis you need to pop the operators between open parenthesis and the close parenthesis so after popping out this operator it should be added to the prefix expression now we have only one minus in between open and close parenthesis so that should be popped out okay now what is there in the stack one is close parenthesis and the next is exponential okay next what is the character we have here that is after uh, see sorry here after open parenthesis we have multiplication so now check for the precedence okay if you are trying to push multiplication symbol into the stack compare this with the top of the stack what is in the top of the stack exponential actually this has the highest precedence over other operators but what is the rule if the new operator this new operator is having higher precedence or equal precedence than this operator top of the stack then you can push but what if it is having lesser precedence than this one then you need to pop this top of the stack and add it to the prefix expression so you are popping out this exponent exponent and then you are adding it to the prefix expression now your stack contains what just close parenthesis again when you try to push star into the stack compare it to the top of the stack since it is parenthesis directly push it into the stack okay then after this what is the next character we can scan is d so d is an operand so you can directly add that d into prefix expression okay what is the next symbol we have plus plus operator again when you push plus operator first check the precedence of this plus operator with the top of the stack okay so this is having lesser precedence than this one right if it is having lesser precedence than this one then you need to pop this from the stack and add it here so you are popping out and then you are adding it to this prefix expression okay this will be in the stack now now you can insert plus into the stack okay push a plus into the stack and after this plus what we have we have the character c which is an operand so directly you can write it here like insert it here up and it here okay after c what do we have we have division operator when you have division operator compare it with the operator on the top of the stack that is plus so this has higher priority than this operator if it has higher priority then push it into the stack okay and what is the next character we have b b is an operand so add this b in the prefix expression 
Here we have added B in the prefix expression. And after B, what is the character? Plus, plus operator. So here is plus operator. Okay. If it is plus operator, again compare it to the top of the stack. Top of the stack is division. So plus operator is having lesser precedence than this operator. If it has lesser precedence, pop this out and add it here in the prefix expression. So our prefix expression will be like this after popping out division from the stack. Now what is my stack? Open parenthesis, cell close parenthesis and then plus operator. Again check plus operator with this plus operator because now this is the top of the stack. You want to push it into the stack. Before that you need to check for the precedence. Both has the same precedence. So if in prefix expression conversion, if the new operator is having greater precedence or same precedence, then you can push it into the stack. Okay, so that is what we are doing going to do now because plus is having same precedence as this plus. So what you are doing, you are pushing that plus into the stack. Okay, so we have done with the stack now for plus. What is the next character we have? That is A. So A is an operand. If it is operand, add it to the prefix expression. Already we have this as the prefix expression. Now you are going to add A with this. So A is added. Okay, and next, what is the last character that we need to scan here, which is close parenthesis. So if it is close parenthesis, okay, if it is close parenthesis, sorry, here it is open parenthesis. So just insert it into the stack first, okay, and then the rule is until you find close parenthesis, pop all the operators from the stack and add it to the prefix expression. Now you have two operators in between, pop these two operators and add it to the prefix expression. So GFE minus exponential d star c b slash a so plus and plus should be popped out and appended to this prefix expression after you pop out these two operators our stack becomes empty now nothing is there in the stack also we scanned all the characters from this expression so we don't have anything else to do now and this is our expression okay after doing conversion but this is not the prefix expression as you can see our operators are after the operands but in prefix expression operator should be before the operands so you need to again reverse this expression if you reverse this expression we will get plus plus a slash b c star d exponential minus e f g now this is the result this is the prefix expression okay so this is how you need to convert from infix to prefix